First, if the audio in this video is bad, it's because of two reasons. One, they're still doing construction on the house downstairs, and two, the people behind us are jackhammering. So let's get into the review of the Zion Smooth 4 after around two months. So, this is the Smooth 4. For a handheld phone gimbal, it's pretty big, but it does have some nice features like this knob and also the locking or rest mode here. But here's what I was concerned about. In Europe, this gasket down here, or like this bottom part by the motor, became loose. And then this would jiggle. So my footage one day was completely useless. I realized you just have to tighten it. But that's something you'd think Zion would find in testing. I mean, Zion is a renowned brand, so it should be fine. But that did concern me. So, kind of jumping into the review, I like it. It's smooth. You still have to make sure you're just walking kind of like this so you're not going up and down because the gimbal is only three axis and it doesn't do up up and down just still go up and down but it's really great it's smooth I really do like the tripod it came with it's nice it just screws onto the bottom I tried attach attaching a plate to this but then it's just really hard to hold one complaint is this is plastic and when you get sweaty it just becomes really, really slippery and just not nice. I'm probably going to wrap it in electrical tape or something. And also, I wish it was a little longer because kind of your finger naturally goes right on the trigger. And sometimes when doing like a hyperlapse, you'll hit that and just jerks it off. And you can also just use the top button. No, I don't use that that much. So here's my complaint. This is the case it comes with. It's massive. Like, if you open it up, there's a lot of extra room on the sides and kind of like here. Why? Like, this is the backpack I took to Europe. It would fit in here with a travel tripod. Here's the issue. It's big. And also, it's in your backpack. So a shot won't stay around. It'll take a while. And you spend like three or four minutes every day just trying to get your gimbal out. So I bought this. It's like a $10, not for the Smooth Forge, normal gimbal case from this brand. I'll link this hopefully in the description if I can find it. But this is great. You just it has a nice strap so you just put it like around your neck, put your gimbal and your tripod in here, and you're good. Uh, you can also kind of jam it in with like an iPhone SE on. It works. Not the best though. So one more just kind of thing to point out. It's big and heavy. Like as far as smartphone gimbals go, this weighs a fair amount. It's also just big. I mean, like, when it's out, it doesn't really... You notice this thing. Like, walking around Venice, I got a lot of glances. Um, also, hiking with it, it's fine. It's still relatively small. But you compare this, pair this, like, just in this backpack, I'll carry, like, normally I would carry this in a drone. I mean, it's heavy. I do wish it was slightly lighter. But I, and I also wish the handle was slightly longer, but I don't think those two kind of go together. So, all things considered, good gimbal. Definitely worth $140. Just a couple, like, things I would get. There's uh, kind of mounts for, like, a GoPro. I use that a lot. I'll link that in the description. They're good. You put them in here. One issue with the one I have is normally I kind of like, like holding it like this, but you have to hold it like this. Otherwise, you get the arm in the shot, but that's kind of true because this is a Hero 5 4K only does wide but it's still very good for like time lapses that's mainly what I used it for check out my Venice video up here I believe or over here one of these corners yeah so I definitely recommend this especially if you're really into filmmaking if you're kind of more of a newbie not really sure what you want to do I'd recommend either the Smooth Q or the Osmo Mobile 2 um, both have their advantages and disadvantages. The Smooth Q is only 99 bucks, definitely cheaper than this and the Osmo. The Osmo is 129 I think. But the Osmo does come with a couple more features, but it's also DJI, so if you're kind of dedicated to a brand, but buy that. But definitely recommend this product. It doesn't work so well with Samsung yet. Their app, not that, that developed. But still, it's a good product. Just make sure you buy another case. Peace.